Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update Tokyo Game Show Edition. Let's hop right into the Japanese news. Let's start with new games. Multiple games were announced during the Sony show, including Valhalla Nights 3 for early 2013, Oboro Muramasa on March 28, known in other regions as Muramasa the Demon Blade, Senran Kagura Shinobi vs on February 28, a 3DS exclusive series up to this point. A new Gundam game based around plastic model Gundams. Tuki Den, a new IP from the developers of Dynasty Warriors and Warriors Orochi. And Team Ninja detailed that Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Plus was coming to the Vita in early 2013. Soul Sacrifice was delayed to 2013 in Japan, which means it will be delayed further in other regions. However, a new trailer was shown off during the conference. The Vita now has two extra colours in Japan, with new Cosmic Red and Sapphire Blue due out on November 15. No dates for outside Japan. PS Plus has a solid November release window for the PlayStation Vita in all supported regions, with instant game collection, discounts, online storage for saves and DLC, automatic update and demo downloads, and trophy sync. A single subscription to the service will cover both PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita. PS Mobile also has a solid release date as well. The service will release on October 3 to 11 countries. The US, UK, Canada, Australia, Japan, and several European countries. There is to be roughly 30 titles available on launch, but a detailed list wasn't given. God Eater 2, the sequel to God Eater slash God's Eater, has been confirmed for the Vita after already being announced for the PlayStation Portable. The Vita version will contain higher fidelity graphics, but both versions will be able to play cross-platform multiplayer. No release date other than 2013. Dokuro, the previously Japanese exclusive platformer, has been announced for a digital only release on the US PSN during October. The game came with an English translation and a Japanese release, so it's safe to say a quick region change was nice and easy. No price or release window for Europe was given. Little Big Planet's Street Date was lifted by Sony on the 14th of September in America, with GameStop breaking the street date as soon as they received stock. Newegg and Amazon followed in the following days, but the PlayStation Store will not have a digital version of the game until the original planned date of September 25. Persona 4 Golden finally has a solid release date, November 20 in North America. That's all. Firmware Update 1.81 was released, which fixed some errors with 3G and some downloads, but as expected, VHBL has been blocked once again. The game required to run the exploit, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, was never removed from the US store in a strange move from Sony. However, the game did disappear from other regions. This week's store update for the US introduced more classics, including Destruction Derby, the original Wipeout, and the second and third games in the Siphon Filter trilogy, along with a couple of minis and a new PSP game. The EU update brings Little Big Planet Vita and the first Pinball Arcade downloadable content. An official message on the Facebook page of Wipeout 2048 has confirmed that the online play of Wipeout 2048 will continue to be supported even though the developers, Studio Liverpool, closed earlier this year. Also confirmed a new goodies and social events for later months. That's it for this week. Here's a question. If you got to pick red or blue Vita, like, subscribe, comment, and share the video around if you liked it. See you next week.